Welcome. This is the grade eight team ready practice test. Question number one. So the question says on the coordinate plane shown plot five points that represent a function. Now they're giving you a lot of space to live right here, folks. They're just asking for five points and you to make a function. So let's talk for a second about what a function is. A function is a relation. You probably think of a relationship as a graph. That's why they gave you a coordinate plane here. Um, where inputs are connected to a single output in the most, I've seen this in a math class before, um, setup, you're looking at something like this. So say I have y equals 2x plus 5. My input, I just put numbers in at x, so say 1. So I do y is equal to 2 times 1 plus 5, and that 2 times 1 is 2 plus 5 is 7. So y is equal to 7. So I make the coordinate point x1, y, 7, because when I input 1, I get 7 out. Now, when we're looking at a function, we don't necessarily have to have a, a line. You don't need to make a linear function here, but you can. But some of you want to watch the world burn, and I'm fine with it. I'm just going to give you all of the options. The biggest, the easiest way on a graph to tell whether or not it's a function is to use what's called the vertical line test. And what that means is you're just going to draw vertical lines. Vertical means straight up and down. And just make sure no two points are being hit at any point in that sort of setup. So could you draw a line? Sure. You could do this. This would pass the vertical line test. See, if I go straight down, there's just that one point each time. Um, and it has five points, and that's all that it really needs. If you want to do something else, that's also fine. Just pick any five points that are not on the same line. It doesn't even have to make any reasonable sense that you would draw it. It would pass the vertical line test. So it's a function. You don't have to connect the points together because that's not a requirement either. A linear function like this, the the line that you see is actually, so I substitute 1 in right, or what if I do 1.1, 1 .1? well I'd get another point here, or 1.01. .01. So it's really all those points just touching each other, that's what that linear function actually represents. So really 5 points, as long as it represents a function, it's fine. And you could actually have it set up to where they're all on the same line, so you could do what's essentially a constant function, this is A-OK. -okay. Because your points in this case would be negative 3 and 2, negative 2 and 2, negative 1 and 2, 0 and 2, and 1 and 1. That's fine. Or, sorry, negative or 1 and 2. What am I thinking? 1 and 1, where have I been? See how all the output values are the same? doesn't matter. The rule is the input can only go to one output. So you could have the same input going to this, or a different inputs going to the same output all you want. It's like when you used to be able to go to theme parks and they'd have soda machines there. Uh, they'd also have the ones you buy from the little kiosks, but they'd have soda machines. And for some of them, if they were sponsored, they'd like Dr. Pepper. Well, they'd have an entire machine where you'd press the button and it'd give you Dr. Pepper. The only thing you don't want is if you press the button for Dr. Pepper and sometimes a Sprite would come out and sometimes a Dr. Pepper would come out. A not function, a this is broken version of this, would be something that doesn't pass the vertical line test. See how it hits here and here? That's a failure. You can't have that. And the reason, and if we look at what that would end up looking like, it would be 0 and 3, 1 and 3, 2 and 3. I was just being super lazy and kept using the same one. But it would be 3 and 0 and also 3 and 4. A repeat input going to different places like here and here, that is makes it a not a function. So that's why that function fails. But as long as you have different x values essentially and it passes a vertical line test you're fine if you look back in the answer choices i think it does some sort of quadratic or sorry some sort of like exponential growth it looks like the start of one anyway um but 
Or it could be part of a quadratic, who knows. But it doesn't matter. As long as you have five points, it's a function, you're good to go.